hello everyone um so in today's video guys i want us to answer this evolution question from a previous question paper um let us quickly go through it explain why modern day spider monkeys the organism spider monkeys all have long tails whereas ancestors of spider monkeys had much shorter tails and you explain this using Lamarck's theory and also Darwin's theory. For Lamarck's theory, six marks is allocated. And Darwin's theory, um, eight marks is allocated. So let's start with the first one, which is Lamarck's theory. Remember, guys, you use the information given to explain the theories. So you do not just um, use the generic explanation about characteristics, blah 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 it's not uh, this will not be a copy and paste from the notes you obviously use the points then you apply the information given about the characteristics in the question and also the organism the species right perfect okay let's start with lamarck's theory so obviously you start by mentioning um the laws that he would use right then you give us information about the species in question and, and the characteristic excuse me he would use his law of use and disuse i'm also going to show you how this question um um is marked guys so just stick till the end of the video i will show you how this question is marked so he would use his law of use and disuse and also his law of inheritance of acquired characteristics law of inheritance of acquired characteristics characteristics okay then the ancestor of spider monkeys had short tails. The ancestor, that's the characteristic. And we include the name of the organism or species in question, which is what the ancestor of the spider monkeys. Ancestor of spider monkeys had short tails. Okay. And these short tails were allowing them to hold on to tree branches to be able to hold on to tree branches as a result as a result what happened to these uh, tails now they obviously became longer as a result their tails became longer and what does his law of inheritance of acquired characteristics say okay this characteristic longer tail will be passed on to the next generation and this characteristic which is long tails characteristic characteristic <laughs> was passed on to the next generation six marks um for the last point please don't say in this gene or in this allele something like that please don't say that okay let me show you how this will be marked he would use his law of use and disuse and the law of inheritance of of acquired characteristics please mention all of it and um, then the ancestor of spider monkeys that's the species in question or the animal in question had what characteristic short tails that's a tick to be able to do what with the short tails to be able to hold on to branches so since they were using that so they were using their tails as a result the tails became longer and this characteristic, which is a longer tail, was then passed on to the next generation. Six marks. Okay, then let's answer 
um, using Darwin's theory. Mm, 3.2 using Darwin's theory for eight marks. Okay, again, it will be an application question. You can't just say favorable characteristics or unfavorable. What is the characteristic in question? So you have to apply that information. So evolution occurs by natural selection. That's the theory, right? Evolution occurs by natural selection. Okay. Then we talk about the variation now. There. There was a variation in the ancestral population. In the ancestral population. The word population has to be there, not just organisms. Okay? So in this population, some spider monkeys had short tails that those are the characteristics now that we're talking about okay some spider monkeys wow wowsies wowsies some spider monkeys had short tails and some had had long tails. I'm also going to show you how this will be marked. Now, what then happened with the spiders with long tails? The spider monkeys with long tails were able to hold on to the tree branches. The spider monkeys with long tails were able to hold onto tree branches or you could have said um, the spider monkeys with long tails did not fall to the ground so obviously since they were able to hold onto the tree branches um, they did not fall to the ground and they survived. Did not fall to the ground. So obviously that means they survived. Okay, or you could have said they were not attacked by predators. Now let's speak about those with short tails. Then those with short tails my pen is acting up those with short tails could not hold on to the tree branches could not hold on to the tree branches could not hold on to the tree branches so that means they fell on the ground So obviously, if they fall onto the ground, they die. So what happened to them? They died, or you could have said um, they were attacked by predators. Now, that characteristic for long tails, that's the favorable one. The characteristic for long tails For long tails was passed to the offspring. Eight marks. Let me show you how this will be marked. There was evolution occurs by natural selection. Must change the color. Uh, there was a variation in the ancestral population some 
keyword some spider monkeys had short tails you mention the characteristics had short tails and some had long tails the spider monkeys with long tails remember some survive and some die so which ones you need to mention which one survived and what allowed them to survive basically the spider monkeys with long tails were able to hold on to the tree branches and did not fall to the ground and survived those with short tails could not hold on to the tree branches they fell to the ground what happened to them they died the characteristic the favorable one with long tails was obviously then passed on to the offspring.